Well, thank you all very much for joining us this morning as we celebrate a true St. Louis County and really regional milestone. Our designation as a certified work ready community. joining us from the county is Pat Dolan. He is a county councilman and he's also with the Missouri AFL-CIO. He is an apprenticeship coordinator uh, which is an extremely important position and it's great that we also have him as a county councilman. Can we hear a round of applause? For Pat we are very proud that St. Louis County leads the nation as the largest county to achieve this coveted designation. This certification indicates that the workforce in St. Louis County has excelled in three essential job skills as measured by the American College Testing Organization. Reading for information, applied mathematics, and locating information. Our status as a CWRC is a testament to the collaborative efforts of county educators, students, workforce development experts, labor, and business leaders. I salute all of you for your hard work. A skilled workforce is the heart of a strong economy. As a CWRC, St. Louis County is sending a signal to the world that our workforce is highly skilled and businesses can expect to grow and thrive here. Studies prove that a skilled and ready workforce is a critical factor when businesses consider relocating or expanding. A CWRC designation means that businesses can act quickly to fill vacancies and to expand and that they can trust the skills of new employees. Our administration is committed to strengthening county's economy, ensuring that businesses can invest here with confidence and that workers can find meaningful and good paying jobs. Our efforts have contributed to an unprecedented economic boom in St. Louis County. Since 2016, Major corporations have invested $5 billion in capital improvements and expansions in the county. These investments generated more than 5,700 new jobs and retained more than 21,000. I am especially proud of the role that St. Louis County's Division of Workforce Development and our partner agencies, including the Urban League, the Family Workforce Centers of America, and Better Family Life, and the UAW, have played in this effort. And I would note that all of those organizations are conveniently located right here at this beautiful facility, the crossings at Northwest. St. Louis County deserves a satellite government center that befits its role as the largest CWRC entity in the nation, the most populous county in the state, and as Missouri's most powerful economic engine. This also is what residents we serve should expect. That includes those seeking to sharpen the skills needed to succeed in business and to help our economy thrive with many vital services under one roof and in the safe, convenient, and high-tech setting of the crossings. This facility has attracted tens of millions of dollars of private sector investment to St. Anne and North St. Louis County, areas that were in need of an economic boost. The crossings is at the nexus of the North County area that our administration has focused on assisting since I took office in 2015. We have directed numerous county departments, personnel, and expenditures towards stabilizing and revitalizing North County. I want to acknowledge the great work here at the crossings by Andrea Jackson Jennings and her staff at the county's Department of Human Services. I also want to acknowledge the great work of Carolyn Seward and Deborah Stovall with the Family and Workforce Center of America. With the St. Louis Economic Development Partnership for their participation in the development of this outstanding facility. I'm proud of this facility and I'm proud that St. Louis County has achieved the esteemed designation of a certified work ready community. I'd now like to welcome Jeff Sweet to say a few words. Jeff is the Senior Manager of Global Engagement for Boeing Company and St. Louis County could not have achieved this designation without strong partnerships with companies such as Boeing. Jeff. So good morning, County Executive Stanger, Dr. Pittman, and guests. I'm pleased here to be here on behalf of Boeing. This is an exciting time to be part of St. Louis County, a county which Boeing has been part of for over 75 years. 
By receiving this certified work ready designation, we are highlighting to the nation something that we in this room already know. As a region, we are able to provide the education and training to develop the highly skilled workers necessary for today's high tech jobs. There are no shortage of people looking for jobs, yet many people lack the critical skills needed for high-tech positions. As technology continues to advance, employers continue to face challenges finding quality workers to drive their competitiveness. To ensure future competitiveness, we must have the skilled workers who can fill the projected job growth in technical careers. This challenge is critical, not only for Boeing, not only for St. Louis County, but also for our nation's economic health. Boeing continues to develop and attract talented and diverse workers who can design and build the world's greatest aerospace products. We are looking for the technical knowledge, skills, and abilities to meet some pretty high expectations. In order to do this, Boeing partners with higher education, community colleges, and technical associations to increase access to real world training and career pathway programs. One example of this is Boeing's pre-employment training course, which is provided by the St. Louis Community College at Fluorescent Valley. Together with the St. Louis Community College, Boeing has developed specific curriculum to train assembly and composite mechanics. The training program provides over 200 hours of instruction in aircraft assembly techniques, including accessing computer-based work instructions and working with complex metal alloys and composites. To date, 65 sessions have been completed since the training program started. But more importantly, this program has enabled nearly 400 individuals to secure employment in the aerospace industry right here in St. Louis County. We applaud St. Louis County for earning certified work ready designation. This designation will provide St. Louis County with an important competitive advantage to attract high tech, high skill, and high paying jobs right here in St. Louis County. So please join me in congratulating St. Louis County. And with that, Dr. Pittman will be joining us and saying a few words. Thank you. Well, good morning, everyone. And I would like to uh, join everyone up here in congratulating Steve Singer, uh, his entire team, all of these people that are up here. Let's give them another round. This is a humbling experience for me to be the one up here representing education, but I so much appreciate this opportunity uh, to be here representing St. Louis Community College. We have a lot of our educational partners uh, standing around the room, and, and what this signifies to me is the collaboration that's going on between the county, uh, the Department for Workforce Development, uh, all these agencies that are represented in this room that are laser focused on making St. Louis a competitive place for business and industry to remain and for new business and industry to come. So it's just an absolute thrill uh, to get this opportunity to be here with you today. Uh, the Boeing uh, pre-employment training was mentioned and I thought it would be, I, would, I didn't want to miss this opportunity as we have a couple of graduates that are sitting here from that program. Don't worry, I'm not going to ask you to speak. <laughs> uh, they're looking kind of nervous there. But Kendra Boyd, could you stand up? And Joss Hanton, can we give them a round of applause? <laughs> Thank you. Th this partnership is one example uh, what St. Louis Community College is doing is what a lot of other educational providers are doing to align ourselves with the employers, making sure that the funds that we receive, because we receive both state and local taxes, provide affordable, affordable pathways uh, through higher education and into employment. Uh, to make this possible is with the alignment with the business partners that we have. So we certainly appreciate this opportunity. Uh, I did want to give everybody a little update. Uh, this is kind of like this epic moment. If you can picture a movie screen, the date 8-18 eight, 
will be the next State of the St. Louis Workforce Report. I want to invite you all to that event at Forest Park. For those of you that are familiar with, familiar with that report, this will be our 10th anniversary that provides a lot of workforce intelligence to all of you in St. Louis County. It helps us as a college to make sure that our program is aligning with the workforce needs here. But again, I want to congratulate uh, the County Executive, Steve Stinger, all of your staff, everybody that's up here today for this wonderful designation and status that St. Louis County so richly deserves. Let's give them all a hand one more time. And now it's my pleasure to introduce Marty Leathers. Marty is the Executive Director of the Department for Workforce Development. Marty. Thank you, Dr. Pittman, County Executive. It's a pleasure to be here in front of each of you and just extend the state's congratulations to uh, this great achievement, uh, the designation for the Certified Work Ready Community, the largest county in the nation, and of course, uh, a great bellwether for our state, always the, the engine that is the St. Louis economy. And so we're just proud to, to extend our congratulations on this designation. This program really is great, and you heard a little bit about uh, why this program matters, why it helps us build resiliency in our labor market, helps us better prepare our economy for not just the jobs of today, but the jobs of tomorrow, the jobs that we have to figure out how to fill so we can keep the, that, that engine running. But what's really exciting also is the over 9,700 participants, job seekers, unemployed, underemployed, that spent over four hours each taking these tests. To, to get these certifications that allowed this to happen. So I think, of course, they're not in this room, but kudos to the community and the 9,700 uh, certified uh, National Career Readiness Certificates that have been extended in St. Louis County. <laughs> This initiative has really pegged Missouri as a state leader. We do lead the nation uh, as far as coverage of state counties and, and a number of participants and certifications that are provided through these programs. These programs are great for rural, urban, suburban, all environments to help assess and, and, and understand and, and pivot and position your workforce and your labor market for what, for what is going forward. Uh, Missouri is excited to continue to move over and continue to support this effort. Uh, this is not a one-time certification. Every two years you have to go through this process again. So all this great work that this group behind me and in this room and outside this room has done, it doesn't stop today. It just continues and the clock restarts. So I encourage you all to continue to roll the sleeves up and keep doing the work. And we're real proud and, and the state stands ready to help you. So that's the fun part, but just get to keep doing it. So again, so before I park, we do have uh, the, thank you. I'd like to just, if uh, County Executive Stinger could come up and join me, I'd like to present this proclamation. And this proclamation is presenting uh, Missouri's commitment and, and celebration of the certification for Work Ready Community by. Thank you. And just in closing, I'd be remiss to say, uh, as a St. Louis County resident, it's extra special to be here in Tennessee. Right. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much.